because I really don't want to do display cap. You know what? Display capture would probably be easier, but I just don't want to do that. Oh, what the fuck? That should not be taking up the whole stream. The dolphin is loud as hell. As usual. <laughs> Dolphin's been restored to a point where I won't blast my eardrums. But it still looks loud on... On, um... OBS. I'll do an audio check in a second. As I manually adjust OBS here and lose my mind while doing it. You know, let's just put it under everything. Mouse, work with me. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick audio check on the stream. If my mouse will work with me. we're good. Oh, my mic was muted there. I think we're good. <laughs> okay, so as usual, it's probably gonna be me for a pretty decent amount. Of I just realized my webcam's over here. Hi! <laughs> uh, I'm, like last time, it's probably gonna be me for a pretty decent chunk of the time. Um, as far as I am aware, Ethan is free. He's actually in our chat right now. And, wow, I'm peeking really often. What is going on here? Is it because my mic is so close? So, anyways, Ethan is in our chat right now, so I don't know when and if he will join the stream itself. Will is the most 50-50 today. Then again, our friend Will is always the most 50-50 when it comes to joining. Um, I'm going to lean today towards no. He will not be joining. So, uh, changes right off the bat for Movie Encore that makes it different from DX. If y'all could not tell from this glorious purple bluish background, which by the way is not a texture edit. This is a real unused texture in the game. But other than that, you might have noticed this more from Heavy Iron modding. I replaced all the promo trailers with trailers for other mods, including my own because I'm an egotistical fuck. Oh, Lord. Also, yeah, I would love a Steam release of PCSX2 because I actually finally, not long ago, got that properly set up on my end, and... Oh, man, I've been missing out, folks. I have been missing out. God, man. Okay, Ethan will be joining at some point. I kind of figured he would be at work. Yeah, let's uh, actually get to the game. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I didn't want to do that. Uh, definitely new game. Replace whatever the hell that file is. So, yeah, this mod includes a readme like DX, but I don't really remember what's all in the README. I think it's mainly just uh, installation instructions, which uh, nobody reads those anyway, as I've learned from the comments, and what the visual changes are supposed to be, because, uh, yes, in keeping tone with the Encore name, uh, difficulty and New Game Plus elements are not the only thing that gave it the name. Another reason why the mod is simply called Encore is because I took some notes from Sonic Mania Encore mode, where levels are visually changed for no reason. I can't believe this is happening. And um, also, we are using the updated version of this mod. I released an update not even a full week ago at this point, I want to say. And that is the version I am showing off today. 
Um, if you have played Encore and you don't recognize something, chances are it's part of the update. No, <laughs> Mario Phantom 4, I love the new Wait, why am I looking at at um get a hold of yourself, Eugene. YouTube. I have the I'm chat in OBS. Uh, I love the new looks of the levels in this mod. Um, you have not seen the update because uh, more level at this point the only level that has not gotten a visual change is names Dennis and that is going to stay I do not intend uh, I never intended to change the look of names Dennis actually no that is a lie it was gonna be like toxic like um, shell city dead ahead but I decided not to go with that I think that level looks better unchanged also, this is new. The Thug Tug Fogger has been retextured for no cheese. Why? Uh, good question. <laughs> also, another change about the update is you have all moves from the start. The, that's really more to nail that this is a new game plus rather than a simple hard mode. Because again, the main goal of Movie Encore is not to be a hard mode per se. It is supposed to be a new game plus. Which just happens to include um, hard mode elements. Also, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm getting a little mental. Oh, I thought those just went away when the truck passes by. I'm a little men. I have some mental overload happening right now because I got the game on my big screen. The game on the OBS screen, and the game on the YouTube screen. <laughs> and, uh, yuck. And I'm trying to, like, pay attention to the chat, too, so I'm basically looking at OBS while I'm playing the game. <sighs> yeah, as usual, while I in this period I am alone, if you guys got any questions, go ahead and send them. It could be about future mods... Um, stuff involving the channel. I just noticed the Gulagoon sandcastles in the background. Um, it can be questions about the future of this channel, content on this channel, whether or not I'll do X type of content again, uh, potential future mods, my life. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm alone right now, meaning I can answer. I try. I don't have to have my hands on the thing. I can just have them because I'm using a wired list controller. And yes, as stated in the announcement video, this will be a 100% run, so yay. <laughs> Is it possible to do the Now That We're Men combat arena in Encore without taking damage? I'm sure someone's going to do it. Uh, you're definitely not getting that shit from me. If you're going to get that from anyone, you're going to get it from Latte. Because Latte, they played the DX combat arena. Uh, damageless. The video's unlisted, so don't even bother looking for it. And they've also done Phantom Road damageless. Again, that video's unlisted, don't even bother looking for it. Um, they might do it, they might not. I can't really tell. I have no clip on. I did not know I had any of the cheats on. Okay, I'm gonna finish No Cheese real quick. Thanks for the help. Because I really don't want to replay No Cheese, and then I'm gonna boot the game out real quick. And turn all the AR codes off. I, I completely forgot I had AR codes on. Now, one other thing I wanted to do with Encore is make it known you have all the moves, such as the third button now being a Sonic Wave button. And, uh, oh, hold on. Okay, somehow that slipped through the cracks. So, I don't know if it's like this in the actual files, but the guitar here is not supposed to be purple. Um, the player fixes I use, for some reason, only on this model, Minecraft Freak uses a beta recreation texture for the guitar, and that shouldn't be here. So that that could mean I may have mismanaged my files again. 
Like, that could very easily mean I have mismanaged the files again, and there could be missing things of the update here. If that is the case, I will leave the game. What are my thoughts on Cosmic Shake? I actually just beat the game recently. That game is so good until the final boss. Because that final boss is very disappointing. Um, another modder by the name of Tetrax, they actually streamed the 1.0 version, which is like the version you get on launch without the day one patch. And the final boss there not only looks so much better, like it's all ominous and dark, but it just looks like a better fight in general. And I really wish we got that instead. Hello, I... Is that Ivane or Ivan? Because I see the little over the A. But hello. We're about to close the game real quick because I have cheats active. Hopefully that will not fuck with OBS. Because OBS really does not like game capture. We're also not going to bother watching the slideshow cutscenes because those are, like, no different. Okay, also, I'm not going to lie. I know there are people who were kind of expecting this to be an April Fool's stream. Guys, I'm going to be fully honest. When I scheduled this stream, I had no idea I scheduled it on April Fool's. <laughs> and... I'm not lying when I say that. I legitimately had no idea I scheduled this stream for Anyone April Fools. So for those who were expecting a funny haha, -ha, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. Uh, a joke's on you. The joke is there is no joke. <laughs> but uh, once I realized it, I kind of wanted to show off a mod one of our people made. Come on, wake up. That actually fooled me because <laughs> they released it before April Fools. So yeah, this is a new change, uh, a new visual for the update. Um, I, li I list in the readme file that there wasn't an exact inspiration for this level. Like, this level isn't exactly referencing something, because there are visuals in Encore that don't reference anything. They're just visual changes for the sake of being visual changes. Here, though, in I'm Ready to Press... Oh, first of all, the No Cheese visuals were a reference to BFBB's scrapped intro cutscene. I, I misworded that. There's a scrapped Skydome on um, the BFBB's intro cutscene. The morning scene was supposed to have, like, a pink uh, morning dawn aesthetic. And it's in the game, it's just not used. Which is really weird. Um, here, though, like I said, no exact reference here. It's more like just a reference to Cosmic Shake just as a whole. Uh, specifically Glove World, but it's not a direct inspiration. And uh, you'll see more of the Cosmic Shake stuff later on in this level, other than you know it just being purple. Kind of like the fact this mod's Shell City Data Head looks like Dutchman's Graveyard from BFB. That was not the um, intention, but I'm going to steal that idea and roll with it. Also, new change. Some obstacles move a lot faster. Like, again, if you're watching this and you have played Encore and there's shit you don't recognize... More than likely, it will be part of the... More than likely, it's because of the update. Oh, so yeah, I did not... Now now I can say I did intend to stream it on April Fool's because today is Spongebob's favorite holiday. Nope! Okay, so that second giant gumball machine, I'm gonna be honest, there's not really a reason for it. Other than it being a reference to the beta. Because for some reason this scene in the beta, or this area in the beta, just for no real reason, 
has two gumball machines. But I did make one of them do something. That. <laughs> and um, something I couldn't really fix, if you actually just go up and hit that gumball machine, um, the enemy will pop out. That's not what I wanted. I wanted it to that machine to only be destructible after killing the first slammer. But yeah, that's how it is what it is. Also, since in this mod you have all moves unlocked at the start now, backtracking is just pretty much dead. Like, there's actually just no more backtracking. In fact, I even removed the token requirements. The token requirements are just not a thing in this mod anymore. I miss you guys. <laughs> because again, I thought it was kind of pointless for you to start a new game plus and have to work for all your moves again. I thought that was stupid. So yeah, this is where more of the Cosmic Shake references come in. Like all the chocolate jelly now. And for this level, that's pretty much it. It's purple and there's jelly everywhere. That's pretty much it in terms of the visual change. Oh, and I guess I made this a little harder. <laughs> and uh, I actually don't remember what I did to Creek itself. I think I made it go slow again. If not, I sped it up even more. That should have hit. Okay. I'm starting to regret my change towards the buttons. Let's try this again. Boy. What the hell? Okay, fine. You want to be like that? I'm going to ignore it for now. I was about to say, that didn't fucking count. Try this again. Thank God. No, oh, I probably can't hit that from here. Yeah, I can't hit that. I hit that from there. What the hell? <laughs> what do you think? Of, what do I think of the bosses in Cosmic Shake? They're all fine. That's all I'm really gonna say. They're all fine. I. I'm not going to say I expected more from a Spongebob game, because that would be a dirty, rotten lie. For a Spongebob game, they're fine. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I made them move way faster. <laughs> um, oh, wait, this wasn't even part of the update. This was just part of the, the mod normally. Uh, yeah, I think for the... I think they're fine. I do not like the final one at all. I legitimately think they should not have changed the final boss at all. Um, you know what? I'm gonna say the same for Pom Pom. Because, um, according... Because Pom Pom was surprisingly changed from 1.0. She's way easier in 1.0. Way easier. Simply due to the fact that there's not as many enemies. And... Not gonna lie, I wish it was like that, because I do not like... Like, the second time through, I managed to beat Pom Pom like that. Still didn't really care for it, though. Yeah, still did not really care for Pom Pom. And again, I just out... I think Cassandra is pissed at me. <laughs> uh, I do not like the Cassandra fight at all, it's way too easy. Way too fast. And I also don't like that they just used stock music. Because uh, for those who have no idea what I'm talking about... Um... Um... The, the final boss in Cosmic Chick does not use original music. Hacienda Post was not asked to make music because THQ Nordic already picked something out. And what they picked was stock music intended for trailers. I'm not joking, and I have a theory for that. So, who all remembers when they announced, which was actually about the time the game came out, 
Who remembers when they announced that the music would be APM? Which is the public domain stuff. And for those who do remember that, you notice how they did not say once that the APM music was going to be exclusive to cutscenes. Well, my theory for that is... My theory for that is... APM music was going to be used throughout the entire game, and the only reason they picked Hacienda Post, which is the BFBB composer team... Uh, by the way, none of those composers working on Cosmic Shake worked on BFBB. Um, the only reason they picked... they hired them was because people bitched too much. And as for why they weren't asked about composing the final boss theme, as I said, they had already picked something out. So, more than likely, according to my theory anyway, more than likely before Hacienda got hired, they were in the middle of picking shit for the levels. And that could also be the explanation why minigames in one area in Gulagoon uses APM. It's probably that exact reason. I'm almost willing to bet that is the exact reason. Also, I mentioned no token requirements. Now, Mindy not being here does not mean she's not in the game. I removed her here because there's no natural conversation with Patrick and Mindy here. Oh, hold on, I just got a text. Also, to explain something about like how the game works, uh, for those who, like, isn't a modder, like Wilcon in the chat there. Um, the reason why it's taking so many more hits to beat enemies is because all of the enemies use their strongest difficulty. It's not a case of the enemies have more health. No. It's literally just their final versions with a model change. That's pretty much all it comes down to. Well, we got back to the point we were, and it took definitely not an hour. <laughs> I don't know how the hell it took us an hour that one other time. <laughs> so yeah, fun fact, I got shit for making that camera change when Encore was first a thing, saying how it was too hand-holdy, but you know what? And I'm not trying to throw shade at Osti Killer. I'm not trying to do that. This is just more so proving my defense for why cam changes like that are good. There's quite a number of instances in the backwards mod where things just appear with like nothing indicating that they do appear. And he did not know. And some of the things I didn't know. So, that's my defense for those camera changes. It's so people can actually know. And again, that is not me throwing shade at us at all. Because I think that's actually a mod issue. That's not. That's definitely not a skill issue. If the game rewards you with something, and it legit doesn't even tell you the reward exists, that is not a skill issue, that is a game issue. Super yeah, since we're officially back, um... Um... Uh, not retreading. Um, I'm going back to actual streamer people want to watch mode and we'll be looking at the chat. And something is not right with that. Mm -hmm. Every time I point out something not being right with that chat window. OBS updates it right back to it, and that's actually kind of starting to piss me off. Other, uh, stuff here? And I'd rather not reboot it. I'd really rather not do that. 
anyone knows what this screen does. I don't really know where to put it, though. I guess here would be good. Okay. Excuse me. Actually, no. I'll put it right here. Oh, wait, but then I can't see the stream preview. Ah! OBS, why are you the way you are? Every level is basically no cheese. Wilcon, I do not understand that. I don't, I don't get your humor. Why is every level basically no cheese? Is it because there's no cheese within the levels? Answer me. Oh, by the way, if I have to give any strats about Encore, and it's a strat I'm probably going to completely ignore, do not wait to upgrade your health. Just don't. <laughs> don't wait to upgrade your health. I mean, now you could probably get away with it since all the moves are unlocked. Meaning you're not going to struggle as much without upgrading your health, but I would still recommend not waiting to do that. Ethan, I've been thinking about grabbing a new CPU, the new, the new AMD Ryzen's have broken the 5G Hertz barrier. 5G Hertz? and would snap any game in Dolphin right in half. See, you had me until you said 5G hurts. Like, that tells you how little about, like, specs lingo I do not understand. Like, I, ver I know very little about specs. All I know is mine's good. <laughs> I know very little about that shit. Like, if you asked me if I had... Like, if you asked me for specifics on what was in this particular computer, I would look at you like you're retarded. Because I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, I think it's time to break out Soda Chan. Cause my throat's getting a little dry. So I'm going to drink something that will dehydrate me even more. Simply divine. I'm gonna try something. Welcome, Akira. Trust me, you're not that late. We had to restart. <laughs> okay, I'm curious. The gate is persistent, but these buttons are not. Am I gonna break the game from activating these two buttons? Shockingly- No, oh, wait a minute, no, I heard that gate move. I think it went up even more. Gigahertz, it's the speed a CPU can work. Okay. So yeah, like, again, when it comes to that kind of speak, every time people talk to me about it, I'm like, um, can you say that in English? He's like, please say that in English. I don't know what a solid state drive is. <sighs> I'm joking, but I <laughs> don't. All I know is I think it's faster than the hard drive.
I have no idea what I should upgrade next. You know what? That's a dumb question. So right now, we're about to come across what is probably the biggest change I made to the level. You know, outside of the Cosmic Shake-esque visuals. Also, fun fact for those who did not know, this giant... Oops. This giant icy floor here... This is not part of the map. This is an actual just object you can move and or delete. And to my knowledge, this is the only time something like this happens in the entire game. Just the entire floor being an object. Mario Final 4, I can't wait for Frogfish the Hedgehog later. <laughs> You know, I'm honestly shocked people liked the faster bosses. I thought people would have hated those. And behold, this is probably the biggest change to the level. You can't just play it normally. Actually, you probably could. Uh, oops, I forgot to move those manliness points. Don't let anyone tell you I'm not a good mod developer, because if, if anyone says that, they are telling the truth. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm actually right about SSDs? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get a good shot. See SpongeBob up there? Right? Yeah, he just vanishes. <laughs> That's what happens to that SpongeBob when you switch to SpongeBoy Me Bob. He just fucking vanishes. Oh wait, I could just jump there. Ah, Akira, I haven't played this mod yet. Well, you're gonna get spoiled rotten, child. Cause I'm showing everything. This is a 100% playthrough, son. And we're over an hour in, and I haven't even beaten level 2, because we've had issues. Now, for those just tuning in, I did not make it to where you only need to do this as Spongebob. I just couldn't hit the throw fruit with the melons very well, and I was already in a not good mental state. I mean, that was like less than 10 minutes ago, so I'd be shocked if no one except Akira hadn't seen that. Also, random fun fact, these chocolate bars have blue. You could probably tell from the from the outline here. Since you know there's like no bloom on GameCube. But like on PS2, these chocolate bars glow. You know, chocolate, the dark candy that typically does not glow like a glow stick. <laughs> Let me pass! Oh no! Oh! I made a lot of noises there people could take out of context. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take a guess and say Sonic Wave is not open. Yep, Sonic Wave is not open. We're gonna fix that. Save the money first. 
And like, I have a feeling the reason why the chocolate glows on that version is because... And I'm, I'm gonna guess this applies to Xbox, too, since that version actually has balloon. All of the candy glows. So I'm guessing that's the reason, but why did they make the chocolate glow? Chocolate does not glow. Then again, candy in general does not glow. Imagine if you had to fight two Mervs during the final boss movie. Oh, that's Doubles Mon. <laughs> What you just described is literally Double H's hard mode mod. I didn't do that because I actually wanted the fight to be fun. <laughs> and, and to be fair, with Double, he made Unfair Movie as a joke. Counterpoint, I work in retail, and damn if that chocolate don't shine bright. <laughs> uh, you may need to get yourself checked for radiation poisoning, Ethan. Because <laughs> of that chocolate glow when something ain't right. Okay, I'm going to risk it and let this play out, because i got to go pee. <laughs>